So when Africa came out on Call of the Wild, it was an amazing moment. The only problem is the map was so thick of this tall grass that it was really hard to see. Well, now that we have tripods, I think that it just might make it a little bit better. Yep. So first off, these tripods are pretty amazing on Africa, especially the fact that you can hardly put a tree stand anywhere on this entire map. Believe me, I've tried. Now to use your tripod, basically just put it in your inventory. I have it in slot one and you can put it anywhere that it's not red. So if it stays silver like that, it's good. Once it goes like say right here, it's kind of red. You cannot put it there. So all you have to do is move it over a little bit more. You can spin it with your right mouse button and yeah, so let's put it right there. All right, so now that you know how to use the tripod stands, let's head out to Africa and see how they work. So we have three tripods set up here. The first one is gonna be over here towards Igzabalu Delta. This one's gonna be for Cape Buffalo and Warthog. Our second one is gonna be here towards Kunavala Land. This one's gonna be for Gemsbuck and Lion, uh, possibly Wildebeest as well. And our third one's gonna be here over towards, uh, I don't even know what this place is called. Anyways, this is gonna be for Springbuck, uh, Lion, and possibly Gemsbuck. All right, so we just got up into our first tripod stand and we have a whole herd of Springbok out here. They're about 230 out. We're gonna try and take out a couple of these. I think there's a decent four here somewhere. Yeah, right there. We might try and take him out first and then try and get at least two or three more of these ones over here. Or we got a call from a lion. Uh, guys, we have two lions coming right at us right now. We got a call, for, well, that's a lioness actually, but there's a male lion right there, 130 yards out. Oh, he's still coming. We'll be a little more patient. That'll work. And he's down. We just took down our first lion from a tripod stand. We do have another lion over here. It's a four easy. It's a little bit further of a shot though. We might hold off on him. Uh, I'm pretty sure these spring buck all took off. Actually, Looks like we just found a whole other herd of Springbok out here, but these guys are quite a ways out there. In fact, let's find out just how far out they are. Almost 400 yards out there, so it's gonna be a pretty far shot. We're gonna be zeroed in for 320, so we're still gonna have to hold pretty high, but I think we can make it happen. So we're just gonna try and take a shot on this guy. Should have been a hit. It was indeed a hit. And she's down. Can we get another one? Might have been a little bit too high, but in fact it wasn't. We just took down two of them at about 400 yards out. So if this guy stops... That was another hit. I'm pretty sure we hit a little bit low on that, but that thing just popped out of render distance, so it should go down as well. Pretty sure that was a hit. Hard to tell, it was a long ways out there. If it was a hit, that would make four Springbok down. Yeah, I think it was a hit. Yep. <laughs> he just went down. Another hit there, and that should take that one down. All right, so that should actually make about five Springbok down and a male lion. Let's go get him. Rather than running all the way over there, let's just jump on the ATV and fly over there. All right, so we just got here and I see one, two, three, four, and five Springbok down right here. So it looks like we did pretty decent out of the tripod stand. Let's head over here quick and grab this one first because this one was kind of far off to the left side. Don't want to lose him. And that was just a touch low there at 448 yards. This one makes two. That was a lung, stomach, intestine shot at 393 and 345. Right back left leg at 431 yards and a right lung hit at 403 yards. That was a beautiful shot on this female right there. And this should be our last one right here. Not the greatest shot at 424 yards. So that makes five spring buck down. Oh, we actually got a really cool one. It's a black brown, but what's interesting is this guy doesn't look like a really dark color like they used to. So now let's jump back on our ATV, head over there and pick up our lion. Now, the reason we're not gonna fast travel back there is because I've had plenty of issues where when you fast travel, well, one, it could crash the game or two, the animal could completely glitch out and disappear and we don't want that to happen. 
So we're just going to drive back over there. Plus, it's a lot of fun anyways. And sorry about the spotting information on the screen. Remind me to spot something else so that that goes away. Basically, all you have to do is find a different animal, spot it, and it should go away. There we go. That'll work. We'll just spot this lion out here at 134. We are not in the tripod stand, though, so we're not going to take a shot on him. We will let him be. Let's just say it's his lucky day. All right, here he is. Is he going to be a gold for our first lion out of a tripod stand? Let's find out. He is not. He's going to be a silver 786. We actually got double lung and heart on him at 96. So trophy rating of 43. Not quite big enough to be a gold, but not bad. Our first lion out of a tripod stand. Oh boy. We better get in a stand quick. Oh, that's a nice one there. Oh boy. Oh, we almost got hit. I think we might just make it. And we're in. Okay, I do not know if they can attack you from inside of here or not. I don't know. <laughs> Tell you what, we're about to find out here soon, it looks like. Because, man, these buffalo don't look too happy. Should we take a hit? Oh! We're safe. Oh, my God. We're still alive. Oh, my God, they can't get us. <laughs> I love it. No way. This is incredible. It's like we have a shield, a body armor, and holy, look at all these Cape Buffalo over here. Let's see if we can't find a nice one. That's a good mythical there, yeah. Cool looking warthog. So, let's actually get ready on this big mythical here. Or do we take a shot on one of these? I think we could actually take a shot on one of these and it won't really bother them too much because it's not going to affect the hunting pressure that much. We need to make sure we get a good hit though. I don't really feel like tracking them all over the place. How do we actually get them to calm down so we can get a decent hit? That's going to be the next question. Uh, well, we'll just hold off, I guess. Maybe they'll calm down and eventually leave? Who knows? I don't know. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get ready on this big mythical. Man, I wish these buffalo would leave us alone. Come on, give up already. You can't get to us. We get it. Okay, I think that's him. Nope, that is definitely not him. It's a decent one. Got a female there. So he must be coming up somewhere in here as well. He's going to be within range. Because we're looking at about 70 right there. I really want to get a shot on this big mythical though. That should be him there. Sure is. He's going to be about 60 yards out. And we're going to definitely take a shot on him with the bow if he slows up here. Gives us a decent angle. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He stopped at 46. It's not a good angle. This tripod, wow, look at this setup. These Cape Buffalo are within 45 yards away from us and they cannot see us. They're just sitting there chilling. Perfect. If he was broadside like this, we would take a shot, but it's not a good angle on him. Need to get double lung for sure. That's pretty cool. You can actually see him really good here. We're zoomed in. They're only about 40 yards out. The big mythical is right there, but since he doesn't want to come in just yet or give us a good angle, we might as well at least observe him and appreciate this moment. Got the seven very hard right there. Let's try and take a picture of all these guys here. There we go. That was pretty cool. Okay, so we're still waiting for this mythical to step out in front of this six. The problem is I keep silhouetting this six, and even though I could possibly just go off the six, I might. I might just go off the six, right where his front shoulder is. That might be a little bit too high. We'll have to go a touch bit lower than that, but I think we're going to do it. We're just going to go off the six because for some reason I can't get a spotting on this eight without, I mean, I can, yeah, I can only see the top of it. So I think we're going to do that. Let's do that. 46 out. We're going to go off the six. We're going to hold for the heart on the six. And that was a hit. How'd we do? Oh yeah, he smoked. He's going down. <laughs> that was so funny. We highlighted the six because I couldn't spot the eight. And we basically tried to act like the six was the mythical and took the shot. And we smoked the mythical. Just like that. Now, we can try and take a shot at one of these guys here. They keep bothering us. 
There we go. That's a vital hit. Oh, and can we take one more? Oh, there we go. That looked like spinal cord, if you ask me. Uh, that should have been intestine. And that should have been spinal cord. That's how you take down Cape Buffalo. Okay, so it actually looks like one of the Cape Buffaloes is coming back in already. Right there, it is a female, and she's 130 yards out. I kind of want to take a shot with the 338 on this, but... Or the sun very hard. That'll work too. <laughs> now we're going to hop down and pick up our buffalo quick. We'll get back in the tripod and see if we can get some more. I feel like we're going to get attacked by these Cape Buffalo here any second now. So we'll just go with that for now. And pick them up. Uh, looks like we got lung, intestine, and vertebrae. Lung, lung. And we ended up getting gold out of that. That was actually a six hard. All right, let's go over here quick and pick up our mythical. And, oh, only a single lung. Ended up getting lung, liver, stomach, but we didn't get the other lung. We were a little bit too far. Well, he was quartering, I knew that, but I mean, still good penetration. 84% on the quick kill. We did get a nice gold out of that. 146, so that probably would have been like a 930, 940s mythical but not bad. And here's our female, let's pick her up. We only got a single, oh, it wasn't a female, I forgot. It was actually a male. We ended up getting 87% on the quick kill with that lung hit at 80 yards out. Ended up scoring 853 and another gold cape buffalo. Like I said before, let's hop back in that tripod and see if we can take down some more. All right, so while we're waiting for them to come in, let me show you the exact location here. We are right here, and our need zone is about 60 yards in front of us. So the wind's actually blowing in our face. That way when the Cape Buffalo come here, they can't smell us, because we can smell them if we really wanted to. Anyways, the location for this spot is 11295.007 and negative 6832.920. And it looks like one of our females stopped right here at about 76 yards out. Now, we could go for a shot, and we just might, because I don't think she's going to come too much closer. I feel like after we took the shot, they kind of got a little bit smarter and decided to keep a little bit more distance. We also have two more Cape Buffalo right there and right there. You can just barely see the tips of the horns. So yeah, 76. I would love to take that shot, but this grass has me a little bit concerned. Now, do we go for spinal cord? So if we miss the top of the lung, we should catch spinal cord, or do we go right for the middle of this grass? I don't know. Pretty risky either way. Well, tell you what, this is what we can do. We can go for 80 yard shot, we can center them, and if we miss, we're just gonna hit the grass and nothing's gonna happen really. It'll be like we never took the shot. So 80 yards out, here we go. That was a hit. That was a solid hit. I think we might have gotten double lung and liver on that. And she's down. Something else isn't too happy here, it looks like. He is right there at 130. Can we go for heart? We can, but we definitely did not hit it. But we might have gotten double lung. Because he is down. Nice. I did not expect that to happen. All right, now let's hop down and pick up these Cape Buffalo. Then we'll actually head to a new location because I think we did pretty good for this spot. All right, here's our female. Let's pick her up. What did we hit? We ended up hitting... Did we hit spinal cord? No. We got vertebrae and double lung shot. So we held high, but that was a beautiful shot. 77 yards out, double lung and vertebrae. All right, here's our other male. Let's pick him up. And that was a double lung shot. So somehow, miraculously, we missed the heart. But got double lung from that, even though it looks like we were going straight for the heart. Ended up getting a gold out of that. He scored 810, but that was a 185 yard double lung shot. I think it's because we barely hit the bottom of the lung and we almost would have hit the heart, but it didn't have enough penetration to get there. But I mean, I can't complain about a double lung shot on him. And now let's head over to our next tripod stand. All right, so we just got up in our next tripod stand and look at how good you can see from this location. 
Man, you can see out there 350 yards plus all the way around, basically, except for obviously behind here, it's too thick, but all the way out in this wide open field here, you can see all the way down to that point. I mean, literally, you can see as far as you can see from right here. Look at that. We just spotted a Cape Buffalo way out here and, and a lion. A nice sized lion right there. What is this Cape Buffalo doing out here? Although I shouldn't say that because this is where I found my first diamond Cape Buffalo right out in the middle of nowhere, basically. He is 260 out. Do we go for a shot on him? Why not? I was just, wait, wait, wait. He held up 150. He held up. Shot looked good. Oh, he smoked. He's going down. Right there. Yep. And we just got eyes on another Gemsbuck over here across the river. Let's see if we can't take a shot at him. He's going to be about 250 out. So we'll zero in for 320. I was going to say 350, but if he slows up. Really? Well, if he gets any closer, he's going to be gone. So we had to take a shot. Look like it would have been a decent hit. I don't see it anymore, though. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Should have been an intestine hit. If we didn't get lung, it should have been intestine. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess that answers that question. He's down. He is down right there. I don't want to lose the lion, so we'll just mark here. And we have the lion spotted over there. I think what we're going to do is we're going to hop down, pick up the lion, and get back in the stand. All right, here's our lion. Let's pick him up. And we got a gold out of that. Barely an 800 score. Ended up getting a double lung vertebrae shot. Very nice shot on him. Almost spinal cord. If we would have hit that, that would have been, well, we still got 100%, so it wouldn't have made much difference. But a very nice shot, 149 yards out, and our first gold lion of the hunt. Look at what we have here. Only problem is we don't have anything to take a shot on these guys with. Might have to stop by the tent there quick and grab our 7 millimeter. All right, so we just got back in our tree stand, and I can see one of the wildebeest right there. That's actually the big one. Oh, man, I wish we would have been ready on him. There he is. That should have been a good hit. Should have been a real good hit. I didn't see the percentage drop, but I don't see how it wouldn't have been a good hit. 340, uh, I mean, it definitely should have been like intestine at least, but I don't know. Oh, look at this. We got a lioness sneaking in on us here. She's about 90 yards out. I was just getting ready to go take a look and see where we hit that wildebeest. And here comes a lioness. Let's see if we can't call her in. We have a perfect win. That's not gonna call her in very well. She should come right in. I mean, yeah, we could go for a 90 yard shot, but Let's just let her come in. There she is. She's about 40 out right there. I can barely see her in this tall grass. So you can imagine there's no way you'd be able to see her if you weren't in a tripod. Although I can't hardly see her the way it is. So it doesn't really make much difference. But there she is. There she is. 42 yards out. She snuck right in. I could hardly even see her. Shot look good. And she's down. I totally thought she was going to come up here, jump up on this tripod and take us right off. Oh, I was scared. But we made a nice shot and she went down. While we're waiting, I want to show you exactly where we're at. We're over here by the Mahalawa Kuzavi and the coordinates are 10352.381, negative 71.968. All right, let's hop down. Let's pick up this lioness. Let's head over, go pick up our Gumsbuck and go see if maybe we hit that wildebeest. I mean, I know we hit it, but whether or not it's going to go down or not, we'll find out. All right, here's our lioness. Man, she snuck in. She came right to a stop, stuck in this thick brush, and we couldn't see her. I was sitting there waiting for like five minutes for her to come out. I had no clue where she was, and then all of a sudden, there she was. Let's pick her up. Ended up getting a double lung shot on her. Very nice shot at 39 yards out and a nice lioness. All right, so we just got to the spot where the Gemsbuck should be down and there was no sign of any blood anywhere in that whole field. Right over there is where we hit him, right on the beginning of that brush row. Anyways, we came over here because I thought this is where she went 
And sure enough, here she is down right here. So it's a good thing we went and checked where I last saw her. Actually, this is not where I last saw her. This is where I thought she might go. And that was a 282 yard intestine shot. So not a bad shot. We didn't lead her enough, but she was trotting and it was kind of a last second thing. So yeah, that's our first Gemsbok out of a tripod stand. Well, after a lot of tracking and a little bit of patience, we found our wildebeest. Let's pick him up. That was indeed an intestine hit at 344. So we didn't quite lead him just enough. Pretty big wildebeest. He ended up weighing 590 pounds. So not quite big enough to be a diamond, but if he was about 10 pounds bigger, he could have been a diamond. But that still makes our first wildebeest out of a tripod stand. And that's all that matters. And I think that's going to be a good way to end this video. I really do enjoy hunting with these tripods on Africa because like I said, I tried using tree pod, tree pod. I tried using tree stands here before and there was literally no trees on this whole entire map to put a tree stand. So I think that's going to be a good way to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Oh, and just in case you're wondering why we didn't get that mythical cape buffalo mounted, well, here we have two diamond cape buffalo. Here we have another diamond cape buffalo, and we have a leucistic cape buffalo, and an albino cape buffalo. So that's pretty much the reason why. This one scored 996, this one scored 978, and that makes, in total, I think we have four diamond cape buffalo. And I'm pretty sure we got all four of them with a bow. And if you want to find out how we got them, go check out my diamond hunting with a bow video, and you will definitely see, well, especially this one, our dream diamond cape buffalo.